This is the first in a series of videos that describes the financial reporting, semantics, and dynamics theory. In this video, I wanted to go over the foundational building blocks, the pieces that make up a financial report. But first, let's look at a summary of what we're going to be talking about. So we're going to be talking about financial reports, the components that make up a financial report, facts, characteristics, and relations. To start, I want to talk about a notion that helps one understand things a little bit better. So I want to talk about a scalar. A scalar is basically a fact that has no characteristics. It stands on its own. For example, the value of pi is a scalar. Uh, the value of pi never changes. It's the same value for everyone, 3.14. So it has no characteristics. That's a key piece to understand. Now, this, this will, why this is important will become more clear in a moment. So a fact is a piece of information. Facts reported by a financial report can be numeric, it can be text, it can be prose. So in this slide, you can see two facts, 2,000 and 1,000. To understand facts, you need to understand the characteristics of those facts. So a characteristic basically describes a fact. For example, you can see that the fact value 2000 relates to the concept of revenues. The fact value of 1000 relates to the concept of net income. Okay. So the facts of a financial report can have a number of characteristics. So for example, here, we can see that the two facts we've been looking at have the characteristics of reporting entity, legal entity, period, and concept, which we discussed before. Those characteristics describe the fact value. Another thing that describes facts are relations between facts. So those relations can be broken down into two categories. One is the relations between the concept characteristics. Another might be the relation between a specific characteristic other than the concept. Okay, so I just want to break them down two different types of relations. So for example, the concept gross profit has a relation between revenues and costs in that revenues minus cost of revenues equals gross profit. So imagine if the revenues concept was broken down into revenues by business segment, then you might have the relationship consolidated revenues equals business segment A revenues plus business segment B revenues plus consolidation eliminations. So there's a subtle difference between these. I'm not going to get into that right now, but just realize that there are basically two types of relations I'm trying to point out here. A component is basically a piece of a financial report. Financial reports have components. A component is comprised of all the facts which make up that component and the relations between those facts. For example, an income statement is one component of a financial report. And is made of all the facts with characteristics such as the concept revenues, costs of revenues, gross profit, report information for the legal part of the reporting entity, um, the specific periods for which information is reported, etc. The primary thing that I want you to understand here is the notion of a component. Don't worry about the details right now. We'll get to that at another time. So basically, to summarize, again, a financial report has components, and the component is made up of the facts, characteristics of those facts, and relations between those facts. They'll get into the details in another video, but right now, I just want you to understand these fundamental building blocks of a financial report.